Hey guys, welcome to Sarah's Productions, the place where you tips and tricks, view fixed tutorials, and more. I'm Micah, and today I teach you guys how to color correct. One thing you do need to know is that you need to have good light in your videos when color correcting. Without good light, it just doesn't bring out the full vivid color in your videos, and also sometimes when you're color correcting, it does bring out the noise. So that's why you need to have as much light as you can in your video to get rid of that noise. Luckily, I actually have a video on everything you need to know about light. So just click on my face areas to see that video, or I'll have a link down in the description. So I'm going to be showing you two types of color grades. One of them is going to be more of a cinematic type, and the other one's going to be more of like an Instagram kind of filter. So what you're going to want to be doing is, is adding an adjustment layer, and I'm just going to rename it to Instagram, because we're going to be making more of like an Instagram filter. And then you're just going to want to search in the effects panel, tint, and change it to about 20-25% is probably good. And then you're going to want to drag on levels. And then after that, you're just going to want to change the input, input white to about 220. This will just brighten up the image a bit. And then you're going to want to add curves. And then after that, you're going to want to go to the blue, and you're going to want to raise it in the darks, and then bring it back down in the mids, and then you're going to want to lower the blue in the highlights. This will make it so it's more blue in the darker areas, and then not as blue in the highlights. It's just basically making an S. And then after that, you're going to want to add another thing of tint, and just change this to 20%. This will just desaturate it a bit. And then you're going to want to add brightness and contrast, and just change the contrast to about 20%. And there you go. Now we're gonna be making the cinematic color grade. So what you're going to want to do is just add an adjustment layer and name it cinematic. and then you're going to want to add a tint, and then you're going to want to set it to 20%. This would just, once again, desaturate it a bit. And then after that, you're going to want to search up levels, and drag that right on. And then you're going to want to, um, there we go. You're going to want to go to the red, and you're just gonna want to drag the area, uh, the arrow right to where the color boosts up. And then you're just gonna want to do that for all the colors. There we go. And then you're going to want to search up curves. Drag that right on. And then you're going to want to just kind of make a little bit of an S in the RBG channel. And then you're going to want to add tint and just change that to 20%. And then you're going to want to add on another thing of curves. This is where we're going to be adding a lot more stuff to it. So we're going to want to boost up the green. And then boost up the blue. And then you're going to want to lower the red. And then probably just go to the RGB and just boost that up just a bit. And there you go. That's your cinematic color correction. Or should I say color grade? Now, how was that for a tutorial? So like, comment, subscribe so you can keep up to date on all my latest videos.